welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily modify your Pluto SDR's frequency coverage. Now as standard from the factory, your Pluto SDR will cover from 325 megahertz up to 3.8 gigahertz. But with this modification, your Pluto will now cover from 70 megahertz up to 6 gigahertz. It's all well and good performing this modification and showing you how to do it. But let's go one step further and actually show you the frequency expansion working. Now to do this, I'm going to be using a Hack RF1, which natively covers from one meg up to six gigahertz. So the first thing we want to do is install an application called SDR Angel. Now this is a piece of software which will allow you to control the Pluto within its current specifications. We want to use SDR Angel to test what the current minimum and maximum frequencies we can go to on the Pluto. So as this Pluto SDR is standard, I would assume that the starting frequency would be 325 megahertz and then the upper limit 3.8 gigahertz. So making sure you have your Pluto SDR connected to your computer via the USB cable, simply load SDR Angel and select device sets and then add sync device set. Now halfway down on the left side of the screen, tap the button which looks like a finger pressing a round button and then select the Pluto from the list and press OK. Now at this point, we can adjust the frequency using the wheel on my mouse hovered over the frequency readout there on the top left. First, I'm gonna scroll down to the lowest frequency that it will display. As you can see here, it will not go any lower than 325 megahertz. Okay, so let's try going as high as it will go. As you can see, it will not go any higher than 3.8 gigahertz. So we know that the connected Pluto SDR is a standard and as per the default specification. So let's close SDR Angel and perform the modification. So firstly, we're going to need to know which COM port the Pluto SDR is assigned to. Now to do this, simply navigate to your device manager, scroll down to ports and locate Pluto SDR. As you can see here on mine, mine is set to COM15. So we're now going to use an application called Putty. Now this is a great application to connect your Pluto and issue commands to it. So when you first launch Putty, you'll need to change the connection type to serial. Then in the serial line box, make sure it has the same COM port number as your Pluto SDR. The speed can be left at the default 9600. Now click the open button and you'll be presented with a login prompt. Enter root for the username and then analog for the password. If all is well, you'll be presented with Pluto SDR in large letters. So here we're gonna issue three commands. The frequency expansion only requires two commands, but while we're here, we may as well enable all of the Pluto CPU cores as by default, only one core is activated. So the first command that we're gonna enter is FW underscore set ENV space ATTR underscore name space compatible and then press enter. The next command we're going to issue is FW underscore set ENV space ATTR underscore val space AD9364 and then press enter. And the last command, which will enable all cores, type FW underscore set ENV space max CPUS and then hit enter. So at this point, type reboot and press enter. And then to be sure this actually rebooted properly, wait a few seconds, unplug the USB cable and then plug it back in again. So with the modification complete and the Pluto SDR rebooted, we can now go ahead and launch SDR Angel again. We're going to do the same as before and check the minimum and maximum frequency that can be set with the Pluto attached. Add a device sync from device sets and select the Pluto from the list. Now, as I check the lower frequency, I notice that it now goes as low as 46 megahertz, whereas before it was 325 megahertz. Now this is way lower than the specifications. Now the upper limit has now changed from 3.8 gigahertz up to six gigahertz as we'd hoped. Okay, so we can now change the frequency between 46 megahertz and six gigahertz in SDR Angel, but does it actually transmit on those frequencies? So let's test this out by using a Hack RF1 as a receiver and then using a software package called SDR Console to control it. We'll stick with SDR Angel to control the Pluto SDR as a transmitter in Narrow FM. So let's try the lower frequency first. Transmitting from the Pluto and receiving a Hack RF. 
So as you can hear there, my voice, I'm transmitting with SDR Angel going through the Pluto on 46 megahertz and then using the Hack RF to receive. The Pluto and the Hack RF are only a couple of inches away. So it just goes to show how low power is coming out at 46 megahertz. Let's jump up to the other end of the scale and try six gigs. Now we are transmitting on six gigahertz. This is six gigahertz transmitting from the Pluto and receiving via the Hack RF. Transmitting on 6 gigahertz and receiving on the Hack RF. So SDR Angel is transmitting and SDR Console is receiving. There looks to be some slight frequency drift there, offset. But other than that, it's actually working. So as you can see there, we're around 11 kilohertz off on receive. Now I'd imagine that it's actually the Hack RF that's off at that frequency because I've already replaced the TCXO with a more stable one in the Pluto. So the Pluto one should be more accurate. But without an accurate frequency counter and analyzer, I can't be 100% sure. But there we go. That's proof that the expansion does work on the Pluto. And surprisingly, I'm getting as low as 46 megahertz. So there we go, guys. That's a tutorial on how you can expand the frequency range on your Pluto. Now, if you have followed this guide and it hasn't worked for you, then you can reset the Pluto back to default. And to do that, you just log in as before using PuTTY and you enter in the following three commands. You set FW underscore set. ENV space ATTR underscore name, hit enter. You then type FW underscore set ENV space ATTR underscore val, hit enter. And to set the CPU cores back to default, FW underscore set ENV space max CPUS space one, hit enter and then reboot. Your Pluto SDR will be back to factory default. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please don't forget, leave a like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I wanna say a massive thank you to all my patrons and until the next video guys, you stay safe, take care and I'll see you in the next one.